wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. So cash your checks and come up. Hey, yo, it's the good. It's your boy, Super Kev. Welcome to another episode of the Super Kev Livecast season. Or we on YouTube. It's the first of the month. And if you don't believe me, we on YouTube. For those of you new to the page, welcome to the hottest to-do list show on the internet. If it's not, your job is to let me know who got it so I can like, comment, share, and subscribe to their work. The same way I ask you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to yours truly. If by the end of the episode, you learn anything about income number six, which is not an income. So y'all can bash me in the comments. Capital gains. Now, remember, capital gains is when you invest in something. And over time, it either appreciates in value or depreciates in value. Now, when you're serious about the seven forms of income, you like the assets that appreciate. But some of us have habits that are actually liabilities. And I want to speak about one of them today. And the income number six that elementary school teachers deal with a lot are televisions. Now, quick story time. I don't really like watching movies because I talk too much. And then when I start asking questions, people get mad. So when I was in elementary school, I used to be the one clapping erasers out the window. Bow, bow, bow. Because if I watch a movie and I don't know something, I wanted to talk about it. And nobody likes doing that. So I don't really watch movies. So Friday when I was in elementary school, I know Friday after lunch, they used to watch a lot of movies. I didn't really watch them. I, I was always either correcting papers, clapping erasers, you know what I'm saying? We was having some fun. But somebody was watching the television, you know what I'm saying? And now, I'm not even going to get into the cable bills, Netflix bills, Hulu, Disney Plus, YouTube TV, even though we on YouTube. I'm not talking about the channels. I want to talk about the actual television set. And that is... Because televisions, for the most part, are depreciating assets. All right? if, you out, if you go out there and buy a television for $1,000, and then in five years you attempt to sell it, it is very unlikely that you will receive $1,000 for that television. Again, it's not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. Therefore, if your goal is to be in a better place financially in five years, then maybe that $1,000 being invested in growing is probably better than buying a television who's going to depreciate in value, all right? Now, if you are an elementary school teacher, you know, that's on the school's budget. I hope you ain't buying televisions with your own money. That would be a big investment if you are, salute to you. But if you can get the district to pay for it, that's how we move on this side, you know what I'm saying? So, if you are into televisions, think about that. Are you going to buy a new one in two years? Are you going to sell it? Really think about that and where it fits within the seven forms of income, okay? So the next thing I wanted to talk to you all about along the lines of the television is it's one thing to buy a depreciating asset cash. It is a whole nother story to buy depreciating assets with credit because if you buy a television for $1,000, on a credit card, by the time you're done paying all those minimum payments, you're going to be in the realm of about $1,250. Again, not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. I would need the actual APR to do the math on it. But just think of it as you buy a television for 1000 you end up having to pay 1200 But then when you go to sell the TV, they give you 500 That means there was a big gap of you lost $700 just for holding that television. Now, was it worth it? Only you can answer that, not me. All right? If you love television, if movies are your thing, um, if you like scary movies, if you like playing video games, then maybe that television has value. If you are a streamer, then your television is probably not a capital gain. I think that becomes a part of your business investments. So if you're a streamer or a gamer, then the television is in a different category. But if you are just enjoying television for the sake of enjoying, but you also have financial goals, I just want you to be real and realistic, I should say, with your goals so that you can achieve them. All right? So once again, if you are an elementary school teacher or anyone just enjoying my show, 
reconsider how many times you buy a new television. I'm not telling you to buy it. I'm not telling you not to buy it. And if you're watching me on a television, salute. I just want you to understand how this money game works. All right. Now, before I go, remember, we still have the promo for mastering one song free of charge to all of my subscribers out there. In order to be a subscriber, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube. Link will be somewhere in the comment section. Screenshot me that you um, subscribed. Send over your final mix and live on either Facebook or Instagram live. I will be mastering your song free of charge for the world to see and for you to hear what decisions are being made on your track. All right. Now we're flirting with 400 subscribers. Uh, this promotion will be running until I hit 500. Might be this year, might be next year. Who knows? All right. And on that note, it's your boy, Super Kev. As long as I'm a live, there will be a live. And I don't care if the Red Sox are out the playoff picture officially. The Yankees suck. When was the last time they won? Y'all see, we still got more chips in this decade than them. I love y'all. Peace mode.